Okay. Oh. Hey, hey, I'm back. How are you doing, folks? A warm welcome to the 1775 Whiskey uh, Passport. <laughs> Coming here from its home base, the Mercury Grill, centre of the universe in White Creek. And a warm, warm welcome to you all. You can tune in on Facebook, YouTube. Live. Live, absolutely. And Starleaf. And Starleaf for you. So get used to that, folks. And of course, collectively, we're making the whiskey world a smaller place. So, of course, who am I here with tonight? I hear you ask. Who is the stallion? Yes, that's Graham Blakey. <laughs> and who's the guy next to me? This is Tati Peel Forbes, aka you, Neil. And then, of course, we've got Gregor, the great technician, Nanu, Nanu. Hello, hello. He's there he is. To get the Starly Flink working. <laughs> that is it. Hope so, Daryl Walker's watching and help him here, Daryl. That's it. And we're just going live. We'll check in in a wee second to see who's all uh, who's all doing the bits and bobs. But we were lucky enough. Neil, where were we last week? Last week, we were all over the country. We sat last Friday in Perth in a pub called The Venue. So, we live from there. Unfortunately, the internet wasn't that great last week. So, apologies for that. We will rectify that if we're it's, on it's the game. It's a work in progress, but we have to say thank you to the venue, to the yeah, staff. Um, they were excellent. Hopefully they're dialed in once tonight, so we're giving you a big thumbs up. If yeah, you are... Young Caleb. Young yeah, Caleb, yeah. After and Frank. A few wonderful drums after the we show. We definitely did. And not forgetting the wee chihuahuas. Yes. Oh, I, I, oh yes. I, I, if you go up there, good. watch the, the guard dogs. They'll, they'll attack you. Yes. yes. Good. Do it. So uh, we had a good few drums there. They looked after us. I they had about 300 whiskeys, didn't they? Five is it? Was it? Maybe it was. I I I lost count great, after great place, uh, great yeah. venue, the venue. Yeah, worth going up there. Chesterfield Suites. Yeah, really, yeah. really nice. It's a good whiskey and gin bar, and we'll, we'll be back. Definitely we'll be go back. back. Maybe a, a via a board meeting stop off point or something <laughs> along that place. So it was very good. And then from there we were up in Aviemore. Up in Aviemore, yeah. And who did, who did we meet? Who did we, who was the famous person? Famous Spud the Piper. I was Spud. watching you. If you're on Spud, oh, you'll know we will be playing outside the Cairngorm Hotel now uh, in Aviemore, but uh, Spud's the Highland Piper, a world famous piper, a fantastic guy, and we've done some filming with Spud on the Saturday morning, it was good, good uh, laugh. Yeah, yeah, it was good fun, so he was blowing his pipes all over the place, he had us into uh, places maybe we shouldn't have been filming, but um, we managed. Uh, well, just, just getting out of Rough and Murky, or whatever it's called, and the... Uh, the whole entourage of the management will come up in Range Rovers and Land Rovers as we're getting out. We just go in the right time, right? So there's some trouble there. It turns out I think they wanted to be on the programme, but <laughs> yes, that, that was it. And uh, of course, who was there taking the pictures with the drones? Thomas. Yeah, Tom, 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 Tom. Thomas Haywood has done a fantastic job uh, having the drones and videos and others all for So a wee thing, but it's a wee promotional thing we're going to be doing in due course. Yeah, and hopefully Visit Scotland will be all over it as well. And great for the American market, some fantastic scenery. And some good-looking guys in it as well, I must have Some big studs there, big studs. <laughs> and uh, we'll maybe come back and tell you a little bit more about uh, our travels over the, the days. Uh, whilst I'm having a look here, Neil, before I say hello to folk, can you just give us a wee rundown on the whiskies for tonight? Yeah, if I remember. Uh, number one tonight is Glenfiddich. It's the experimental uh, range. And it's an IPA cask, so I've never really tasted that. I've had a nose of it before. It's actually really, really good. Number two is a Klein Leash. It's a Highland. It's mm -hmm. actually, it's very much like, um, what's the one that was, we had the other day, last week. It's uh, underrated. Uh, hey. Yeah, my memory's completely oh, right. Klein Leash is one of Diageo's finest uh, from up and Brora. I quite like that. And the third one's from Aaron. It's a uh, Matthew Moore. And it's a cask, cask strength. 56% or there or thereabouts. So I'm looking forward to that one. It's a Peter one uh, from our end. We'll tell you a bit more about it if I remember uh, later on. But uh, three really, really good biscuits. There's the Klein Leash uh, is underestimated. And it's uh, and I still forget the name of the one I keep saying is under, uh, underestimated. I said, no, uh, the guy from Rangers. <laughs> no. Amaruso. I didn't mention Amaruso. No. Tam Navulin. Tam Navulin. Tam Navulin. That's it. Jeez, that's a two. We've, uh, we've got one of the members of the team that really enjoys a nice double Tam Navulin, doesn't he? Oh, aye. Aye. aye Gregor really loves a Tam Navulin. Yeah. Uh, doesn't well, agree with Tom Tom. But anyway, we'll, not talk, we'll maybe tell you later about that. <laughs> Enjoy it on Saturday night. Yes. Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
We're only barred from a couple of places. Well, there's a lone wolf at breakfast on Sunday. Yes, yes. <laughs> the, uh, just to jump in and say hello, we've got our usual crew up there, Susie Ennis and Hubby. Uh, Port Chop was good enough to do his boon impression and drive up in his motorbike and drop this stuff off to them. Yeah. Brian Johnston, our good old compadre. Michael Kelman, great to see him back again. Scotty Watson sent me a picture earlier on. He's up at the caravan. Oh, Prosh, I think it's Creefy's away up to, I can't remember. If caravan scared. of love. Yes, caravan of love. love. When, the, yeah. when the caravans are knocking, don't, or when the caravans are rocking, don't come and knock in. Oh, that's it. And Neil McIver. I tell you who we've not had on for a while. Who is um, from uh, Spain. Mike LaRue. He was, was on last week, I saw him, but he said, didn't they check in with us? Aye. Aye. Mikey yes. boy. And we've got Alex. Um, good evening, boys. So. I've got Mike and Neil McIver. Uh, I've sold you some money, Neil. Oh. I've been busy this week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's been busy every week. Neil, Neil gave me a bottle of uh, Glen Kinchy, 50 year old, the, the old manager's dram. Uh, from I think was it 2007 or 2006? Uh, was it the, the cash strength one? Was uh, it? Graham said it before, Neil. I've, I've not tried it, but I think it'll be from a collection. I'm not no spending that money and drinking it, so we'll see what happens. Thank, <laughs> thanks for it, anyways, brilliant. That was nice to you. Uh, you're trying to sell on and make some more money. I know what he's like. I know what he's like. So, special thanks to Port Chop doing the wee deliveries as well. I don't think we've got any special birthdays today or anything else, but uh, just we need to get the should we tell everybody the exciting news? Go for it. Go for it. Well, it just so happens that collectively through the back, we've been working on setting a world record. So the 4th of September, we are wanting you and another 3,000 people to join us live whilst we do the whiskey tasting. And uh, we're going to set a Guinness world record. I don't, in fact, I can't say the word Guinness because we've not paid them enough money. No. So it's a world record without I'm, uh, I'm T's glad, and C's. I'm glad you stopped Guinness off. No. Yes, yeah, yes. Really. So, uh, so T's and C's, there'll be more stuff coming out over the weekend. We've got a designated website where we're going to ask you to dial in, register, so we can keep you up with information. We're looking for you to get your friends, your family, everybody you possibly can to dial in that night. And the platform we're using, Neil, what's the platform? Starleaf. 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 If anyone's familiar with Zoom, it does exactly the same performance as Zoom and advanced with the link for you to register. We'll send a link to you and all through that day and, and the week leading up to the 4th of September, you'll get the link so you, you'll be able to do it. Don't even have to download it. Click into the link yep. and you'll come on to us. And we've got a special guest appearance just because it's a world record we're going for. Yep. Spud the Piper's got to lead us oh, out. Oh, Spuddy. So, uh, spuddy the Buddy. For the, uh, the boys just met him for the first time. You guys in the Tap Army, if you know Spud. Noble character he is, he's quite a great character, a great guy, and a great paper. Absolutely, absolutely. You're probably wondering why we're using Starleaf. It's because we need to collect so much data for the world record. Um, I mean, it's a world record after all, so there's a lot of information needing to be collated, and uh, Starleaf is helping us doing it. So Yeah, it's the data. There's lots of things. We've got, yeah. we've got to prove things, and we kind of prove it properly. On They had the, the, the record organizers that they uh, paint the Irish stuff. Um, they uh, they go into the back back end of uh, Starleaf and they look at all the data and that sort of thing that we're recording. So to, to get it, it's going to be quite prestigious. Everybody who takes part with us, yeah. we'll get a certificate to you. Yes. Once you're a member, we'll have members' badges or world record holders. Absolutely. Really looking forward to that. Fourth so, of September. So it's been exciting. We've been working on this for what, three, four months? <laughs> it has been a lot of work. So it's coming to the front. As of next week, we wanted to try and get everybody into Starleaf. Anyway, we're not going to say too much because Absolutely. we're getting on. We will mention some more of the stuff, but uh, it's dun, dun, dun. It's that time of the night where what are we going to have today? <laughs> you change it NASA, week, anyway. NASA has told us we need to be more uh, descriptive <laughs> on our, uh, our our sending signals for the, the whiskey d deployment system. So why don't we do so like, awoo, awoo, awoo. But you noticed last week we were in the venue, there was people sitting drinking and eating there. Awoo, it was, awoo, it was quiet. awoo. He <laughs> was a change boy last week. Awoo, awoo, awoo. <laughs> I don't see it coming up. <laughs> oh, there it is. Here we go. Well done. That just shows you. Don't forget what we need to do because I'll forget. So, perfect. Let's uh, go, TV. Forget. Yeah, okay. Right. Thanks, Graham. Ben Finnick, again, famous old distillery. It's one of the, 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 the originals of uh, single malt whiskies, which has been worldwide since time immemorial. Uh, dates will be back to 18 something, I can't remember. This is fairly recent experimental. Mm. See this? I got that right. That's well the sort of words I get. Uh, Called the triple x it's not that type of rating graham oh 
and this is matured in IPA cast. So in oh. and all that sort of thing, or your, your beer drinkers IPA. This is what this is matured in after your bourbon. So it goes into bourbon and it goes into IPA cast. So quite looking forward to it. I've had yeah, yeah. of it before, but I've never actually tasted it. So I'm looking forward to that. So at number one. And there's a few who have got it. I hope you're looking forward to it as well. As I say, Glen Fiddick, even as a standard 12 year old, it's an old fashioned drink. But again, it's very middle of the road. It's very Thanks much like your, your Balvenie uh, double wood. You know, it's easy drinking, nothing complicated about it. Nice nose, nice mm -hmm, aromas, mm -hmm. but nice one of palate, a medium finish. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, but I think for me personally, there's, there's far more newer expressions on the marketplace here which are a bit more sort of dynamic for the one for a better phrase than the Grand Fiddick. But a great mm -hmm. old trustee, I would never call it, no, absolutely not. The Grand Company either the, the same company owns Balvenie anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And going back into the, the old statement yeah. I make about the, the whiskey flavour map as opposed to the regions. They're night and day apart from each other. If you have the own the same company, they share the staff, they're a hundred meters apart. They're, the yeah, mature oh, are very close. So, yep, Glenn Fiddick, uh, Triple X, Experiment, Experiment. Ooh, I should stop saying ooh, that. Triple we'll X. Right <laughs> IPA expression. If you have a quick look at it, lovely colour on it. I don't know if it, I think because of the IPA cast will probably be toasted more. Uh -huh. uh, you can see the colours are a wee bit darker golden, not quite as dark as a, a sherry. There's a few of you who've got it, will agree with me there. Again, unfortunately, the cameras, in fact, I can see it myself. It actually looks mm. quite nice just in the camera. So, have a wee look at that. Lovely colour. Give it a wee sugar over there. What we're looking for, we're looking for the lovely we're legs. We're looking for lovely legs. I'm just and, missing the, the, yeah. the link to the Facebook. You know how Neil likes the, the fat and slow legs, and I like the nice thin and long ones. <laughs> Does that make sense? I, no, it doesn't oh, make right, sense. Okay. Anyway, the legs are here very thick and slow. Oh, Tatty it, Peel's favourite. It's quite unusual uh, for a first one, because normally I go light sort of medium and, and sort of heavy, and in particular on the, the finishes, a, a short finish, a medium finish, a long finish, it's quite difficult to keep balance in that. It's mm -hmm. nice to maybe have three mediums or two yeah, mediums yeah. and a long, and just mix it all up, because people expect the same all the time. And, and funny, I've done exactly the same for next week, it's quite an interesting three for next week as well. No I can remember to tell you before then. So look yeah. at the legs, legs are lovely. We lovely were, legs. If we're looking at the frisky flavour, Mark Graham, have we got it here? We're, we missed it last week. Uh, yeah, we're starting mind the bar in the venue. And you see, I've got it, I've got, I've got it. it, I brought the wrong little bit of paper. I brought it, talking about the wrong bit of paper. Oh, oh Tatty Peel, <laughs> hail Tatty Peel. We've got smoky. So we've got to have a wee nose out first. So we've got to have that wee nose, just to make sure there's no smoke here. Mm -hmm. Put it in the room so you the, the flavour map. Smoky, delicate, light. And, and rich, rich. rich. He's got tatty, tatty Peel. Tatty Peel in here now. Let me do that. So you, you realise there's no smoke right away. So I, I would plot this, it's certainly not delicate when you see the legs here, but kind of go up to smoke it. So it's on the halfway line going across here. And I'm saying it's, I would guess, coming across, not quite halfway to the rich, but it's, it's it's a third of the way, I would say. It's really, really, and it's got a fantastic nose on it. Mm. Take it back, you get the, uh, the citrus. Yep, 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 absolutely. You can actually get your green apples. Yes, the green apples, wow, they're really great there. Pears coming through that. There's Mike LaRue. Is Mike on? Aye. Nice to see you, Mike. You all right? Hey. It's like, again, not quite, I remember one or two in the last few weeks have been like pear drops. You've got that real mm -hmm. sweet pear. Uh, this this is not, it's like a fresh pear. I, I'm getting a lot of that. I like believe it's spices, cinnamon, herbs coming through that. Oh. A bit herby. And cherry blossom. Oh, cherry blossom. Yeah, you uh, have a nice get, walk past in the spring. Yeah, yeah. Cherry blossom trees, actually, you get just a lovely sweet aroma. And that's all coming through there. I'm, forget, I'm forgetting to say hello to Mr. Dewar again. He's joined hey, us. Hey, how are you doing? Aye. A wonderful nose on this one. Really balanced nose. I don't think it's aged very much, is it? No. It's, uh, and this was the first one in the range, wasn't yeah, it? The yeah, experimental. It was. uh, no, it's not aged. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, certainly a wonderful nose in it. Mm -hmm. Let's have a wee, wee taste of it. Slams. Yummy, yummy. Into my tummy. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's nice, oh, eh? That's, uh, I was expecting like something yeah. not as good You've as got that. the apples coming through, the green apples. Green it's apples! Green. It's interesting, it's double matured, but there's a lot of vanilla there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like a creamy, creamy vanilla uh, coming through. Sweetening now, you get, you get the hoppiness of, of the beer. Yeah. It's not beer flavour, but no, you know, no. if you get the, a good IP, a dry IP, 
Uh, uh, hoppy, you've just got that wee bit dryness off the hoppiness there. Mm -hmm. The rose water, in fact, the sweetness is coming through now. Chocolate, it's almost like a Turkish delight for me. Uh, oh, a Turkish delight. You think you get yeah, yeah. Delight, you get this way. We've got the, the, the bitterness of the hops here, though. Yeah. But just at the back of that, as the, the finish goes, medium finish, I'm getting a bit like Turkish delight. Rose bit water of marzipan from Scotty Boy. Marzipan. Nice, mm -hmm. yeah. obviously. I wouldn't disagree with that, Scotty. Yeah. Caravan's I'm obviously not a knock in at the moment. Let's, on, the, on the finish, you've got oh. the sweetness of the. the yeah, I, I wouldn't disagree with, with Mars Prime. Guess what Brian Johnston's getting? Green apples! <laughs> well done, Brian. <laughs> you get off the nose of one of my presents, Brian. Talking Just about sure green apples, where's bloody... Uh, <laughs> where's bloody... Oh, on, on the finish, it's medium. In fact, it, it's medium to long, I would say, because I'm still getting a bit of the finish. It's still again. going. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's a, that's a fantastic expression. I really, really like that. It, it, I must admit, we, we had the Glenfiddich 15 a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Weeks ago. And this one puts the Glen for standard to, to shame that thing. Aye. It's just, it, um, I mean, that doesn't do the, the company any justice. This is, this is, this great. is certainly but, nice. I, I don't know if we'll see it. We've got some nice bright lights here. Bright light, bright light. You can see the separating two or three drops of water. Thanks, in there. TP. Yeah, you can see that there. Mm. Right, Brian, take it back to your nose. And again, the first thing it hits you is the apples. Green apples. <laughs> it's green apples, yeah. I, I, I've kind of lost the citrus on it now, Graham, with, with, with the water there. It was quite citrus there before. Pears are still there, cherry blossom. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's more like a nutmeg than cinnamon yeah, now, yeah. I would say. The cinnamon's got, it's not nice sharp. Um, still it's still a bit nice, heavy. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of the herbs I'm thinking about. It's no basil. Uh, it's like strigs. No, no, man. It's the stuff from Jamaica. <laughs> Jamaica, I, I man. I think you're okay about that. Uh, aye, yeah, aye. Absolutely. So I'm looking forward to we know, we know to this, a taste of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's lovely. I'm enjoying that. There you go. With the water, absolutely fabulous. Absolutely. Oh, his computer's gone again. Uh, oh, it's back now. It's back <laughs> so now. He's, he's, yeah, I'm quite happy you're just standing here talking rubbish. I didn't have to worry about it. Well, it's you. I have to put up with it. <laughs> I get the easy job. Uh, the guys are working with the technical side, which is a bit. No, with, with the water in that, and, and the, nice, the palate, nice, the nice. apples, the vanilla, the, 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 the rose water, the chocolate, uh, the Turkish delight. And it takes a wee while before it comes through the Turkish delight. Scotty, I still kind of get the marzipan, but I do know where you're coming from mm -hmm. uh, with, with, with the, the herbs, the spices, and, and the hops is just giving that, that sweetness. That sweetness there. In fact, yeah, I, I would disagree with now. I'm getting a wee bit sort of sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Oh, on, that's on the like finish. me, honey. Bam, 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 bam. Absolutely wonderful expression. I hope you guys will have got this as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, lovely, yeah, it. definitely. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with that one. And those of you who have not got it and you're watching in, I would highly recommend this, uh, and I hope that next to Rico is good because that's really set a standard this, yeah. this week. Absolutely fantastic, and most certainly it's a seal approval game. <laughs> Could he do it last week? Hey, Greg, I won't. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> I had to be careful of the venue last week. Uh, yeah, it was well. actually hilarious watching the build up to last week from about 8 o'clock when we got there. He was all rosy cheeked and nervous. I was very, nervous. Very, very quiet. You know, nervous. I, I, I was not, but I was just, um, I didn't want to overstep the mark, <laughs> put all the customers off. <laughs> there were some people giving him some strange looks, shall we say. Martin prefers it without water. Martin without, yeah, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't have disagreed with that mm -hmm. either, Martin. Uh, I always like my water. I, I think it, it, it always opens it up for me. But I, I think there was a, 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 a sweetness to it without the water. Mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. it was actually sweeter and you, you you got more of the, the, the cherry blossom, the pears, uh, the sweetness of a pear. Uh, lost that a bit with the water. Mm -hmm. And you got more of the, 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 the sourness of it, the, the, the green yeah. apples, the herbs. Green the, apples! The, the nutmeg. Sunday. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was fantastic without the water. And, uh, Michael, Michael Kelman saying the IPA finish, the fire and the cane and the Project X are three must-haves in his uh, drinking. Yeah. Um, session, or maybe in his cabinet, or maybe just drinks all three together. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, again, Mike. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with that. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we did have uh, what was the other one we had? We done for the Rotary Club. We done, we done a biscuit. Oh, was it? Was it? I, no, it was the triple. Was it the XX? Or what was, was this? That triple X. Aye, there was, was one we can't get yeah. anymore. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, and that was the one we tried to get because I knew of it, uh, but when we couldn't get it, we went for the IPA, and it's a, a damn good choice. I'm, I'm pleased with that. But that, that's two I've tried out there. Mm -hmm. Experimental, oh, quite a game. Ah, you've done uh, it, mate. Right. Experimental. Experimental. Uh, 
uh, Tati Peel's mental <laughs> expression. So, but fantastic, absolutely That's fantastic, it. really good. That's it. Right. 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 What's the next this? one we're on to? Let's say uh, Clyde Leash is number two, if I remember correctly. Clyde Leash. Just going back to uh, last our trip away, we had a we had a fourth member of the party with us. Who was the fourth member? Oh, we had Lily yeah. the pooch with us. She was brilliant, wasn't she? Absolutely. She thoroughly enjoyed herself running about. No so, sense with the dog is with the Graham. Ah uh, well, I was going to say out of Gregor on, uh, on Saturday morning, night. Uh, aye, morning, aye, uh, aye, that's yeah. it. And we're also up at Queen's View, weren't we? Yeah, we went yeah, up well, stunning, beautiful. Uh, beautiful I don't know if somebody saw the video. You would actually think it was a backdrop. I mean, the only thing I, I was thinking myself. The only thing you can actually tell in sunlight is when Graham moved, you can see the shadow on my t-shirt. It was a fantastic mm -hmm. one. And I, I take a lot of tourists up there generally in the summer. Mm -hmm. And it's a killer drive up from Bitlockway. It's not the best to drive. It's 15 no, minutes. But, it's yeah, yeah. but I think it's oh, well it's worth it. Worth it. Yeah, well worth it yeah. Beautiful. You can see all the people doing the wild camping down on the yeah. other side of the shores, yeah. which is a bit of a fashionable and thing. It's so clear because I always tell me, if you've been up there, you can see Shihawi and it's probably about 20 miles away. But Shahawian sticks out, and if you look right up in a real clear day, which it was, you can see Glencoe, right across the Glencoe, and that pitch is about 70, 80 miles away, and just absolutely stunning. It was, we stayed there longer than we should have, but uh, it was good. Ah, it's it worth it. it. It was worth it. We had a really good weekend, but we were busy. We were Very genuinely busy. busy. busy yeah. There was more work than drinking, which, I mean, that was. Was that a drink? No, there wasn't. It was a drink. We gave all drinks away. We had that. Well, had Greg had hours, I think. <laughs> uh, Tom, Thomas's pals, they were. They were they had a great they were time. The lunch time on Saturday. Yes. Yes. They drink with poor. Yes, they were all. We had to drive, unfortunately. But, uh, so, that was, it was, that great. was fine. So yeah. there'll be more of the pictures to come out for people yeah, to yeah, see as well. Yeah, yeah, as well. So, I've a failed day this morning. Edge of Dower as well. We've got some pictures Edgedour, there. Edge of Dower, we've done Edge of Dower. And, uh, but of course, we're going up the West Coast in what, a month's time or something like yeah, that when we can. Yeah, as soon as possible before we lose the light in the yeah. evenings, yeah. So more to come, folks. More to come. Right, where are we, Tatty Peel? Klein Number two, Klein Leash. Klein Leash. All right, have you poured it? No. Oh, oh. right. <laughs> what did we have to do? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Is that what we've done? Oh, there it is. That must have been the right thing. <laughs> I something was happening there. I seen it at a police academy. <laughs> You're going to love that noise. Clean <laughs> leash. I've got to go there. Oh, see you. Oh, I've got a wee one. Oh, wee I know you've got a wee I mean, I heard you got a wee one. He's, he's so excited being back in the market this week. Yeah, Klein Leash is owned by Diageo. It's uh, a very old distiller in the early 1800s, 1815, 1819, 20, there or thereabouts. It's in Brora. So it's, it's not right at the top. It's not the, it's the most uh, northern of um, Diageo's group, as far as I can remember. But uh, it, it's very much um, like. Tamna I keep forgetting Tamna Vulan. I think it's a very underrated whiskey in the, the Diageo range. Mm -hmm. so let's have a wee taste of I it. Do, I, uh, there, is, there, is a, there should be a little taste of uh, peat salt in it. I, I know it reasonably well, uh, having worked at Glen Kinchy and knows a lot of Glen Kinchy Diageo stuff. So uh, it, it's a very pleasant uh, expression here. So I hope you look at it, you'll see it's, it's mm. not dissimilar to the, the IP and the, the colour. It's a bit yeah, yeah. lighter. So it is bourbon matured, not that dark. Is there any fake tan in this? No, I don't think so. No yeah, fake tan. Daniel never admit to fake tan as oh, far as I know. No fake tan. Uh, so we don't really know if there is or not, to be honest with you. And if they don't admit it, I, I, I'm comfortable, as I say. It, it, it doesn't impact on the whiskey anyway. It's just, it's for aesthetics uh, more than you get no flavour, no nothing other than just a wee bit colour in it. Just like putting a food colour in your, your birthday cake. Absolutely. Aye, aye. And, and all that. So a wee look at it, absolutely fantastic. We roll of the sugar of the glass. What are we looking for? We're looking for the legs. Oh, is it legs. Neil's legs or my legs? My legs. I've got good legs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's great my concentration again. Yeah, they, they, Look at the legs here. They're a wee bit thinner, which is unusual the way we, we plot the, the three whiskies. They're a wee bit thinner, a wee bit quicker than, than the, the Glen Fiddick is. But again, mm -hmm. they're not, not the quickest in the world. Um, so, yeah, it's actually quite nice. It's nice and light to the nose, and you just get a little hint of smoke there. Yeah, so a, the I, Mark Graham. yep, yep. Where's the rich in the, the scallywag? Ah. So we're just going to just at the brief one, we can actually just take away again, light, rich, tatty peel, like it and smoky. I, I think we're not quite coming across here. I think it was maybe just two thirds of the way from the light over into the center piece here. But we're just going lightly smoky, just a wee bit up here, 
no far. So I would be plotting it somewhere in the, the first square of the dead centre, Matt, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep saying to people, it's, it's, I would like to, to hear other people's views on a flavour map how it does because ignore, completely ignore the regions. It just does not work at all. Talking about uh, regions, we've not showed anybody the distillers' drams oh, today. Right, do the distillers drams just then? to show yeah, them because... Yeah. Uh, He's out of socks today. He's getting excited with this world record and being here yeah, in the market. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we've got number one, which is the Glen Turret. There we go, triple yeah. wood. It's a triple wood. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Look at the colour of that. So it's a Glen Turret triple wood. Remember 1775 named after Glen Turret? <coughs> maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> Oban, 14 year old as well, which is a nice wee uh, knee shaker. Exactly right uh, Oban, yeah, again, another Highland. Again, Diageo, 14 year old, a fantastic expression. Fairly basic, middle of the road, it's easy to purchase in lots of places, supermarkets, but you know, it really is. It's a, a, a fantastic And a wee Glen Live It. And a wee Glen Live It, 15 year old. Real must want the £3 a bottle. A glass. <laughs> you get a discount, you get 50p <laughs> off. So, number one, Glen Turret. Number two, Oban. Number three, the Glen Live It. Perfect, excellent. Just to say, Mr. Walker has joined us, Johnny Walker, which is nice of him. We've not seen him for a few weeks. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. so thank there. you for dialing in. We appreciate that. And Neil McIver, I was camping with the Bairns up near Shaharian on Sunday night. Well, oh, you yeah. might have seen us on Sunday morning. The Queen's if you looked up, you would have seen us <laughs> waving to you. Yeah, you were one of the rough campers, Neil. <laughs> anyway, we had a nose if we were plotted out on the map. Yeah, we've got to go back and have a wee, wee nose out. You just very, very oh, it's slight nice. smoke there. Yeah, it's just lovely. It's lovely. Yeah, a wee bit citrus coming through there, honey, sweetheart. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely agree. Some heather. Oh, mm. leaf, I don't know. It's, it's quite, quite flat there. But you get a bit of heather coming through. Mandarin. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say mandarin. Yeah, tangerine sort of mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, you get that sweetness, but it's not a citrus. No, no, it's like not orange, over it's like a, a, a zesty sweeter, sort of. Sweeter than the okay. I was watching Spud the Piper. He was up in the cave of and he was eating alive in the first five oh, minutes. Oh, was he? Midges, oh. so he was in the middle of the and trying to shift his legs and stop getting bit with the midges, but he was doing well. Good on you. Yeah, some, some sort of this, the, the smoke. That's actually a really nice nose. Yeah, that. yeah. Very genteel nose. Yes. Very really light, really. In fact, you know, it's one of these strange ones, Graham, because if there was no smoke in that, mm -hmm. you'd actually be putting that down at the delicate All right, stage. okay, you know, okay. So, so you've got to look at that. The legs are a bit thick, but uh, just mm -hmm. on the nose, I'm going to stick it into the, into the delicate side. But the smoke just takes it yeah. over the halfway line. Oh, it's, it's a lovely so. drop. We, we done one of the tastings in here one day, and you know the group of guys from the Smokeheads, the West oh, yeah. Coast guys, they were in, they were drinking this. Uh, they drank the dry, so I had to get another bottle. So mm -hmm. it was when I switched on to that that they were drinking. I thought, oh, wait a minute. It's a, and it's, I think it's a beautiful drink. Yeah, it's a nice, nice whiskey. Let's have a taste, I think. Oh. Again, you, you get that light, a lot. light smoke. Aye, aye. Now, interesting. That there, there's no honey there. It's Sweetheart. More, <laughs> it's more a, a vanilla. You get the orange. It's not as sweet on the, the palate as you do get on the, the nose. You get the tangerine mandarin on the nose. But on the... It, it, no, it, it, you could call it citrus, but it's not zesty. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. very orangey, like a light orange mandarin. Mandarin, tangerine. Yeah, coming through there. Mixed fruits. You know, if you get these mixed berries. Uh-huh. You get a wee bit of that coming through and quite leathery. You know, you get that sort of it's lovely, isn't it? French polish sort of mm. <laughs> French polish thing coming through. <laughs> yeah, absolutely fantastic. I'm enjoying yeah. that. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's again, nice again, some of these whiskies are stuff that you'd be you know, you go into normal bars, you tend not to get the, even the, this basic or they have a very basic yeah. selection. Yeah. And sometimes if you're lucky, this is why it's good to actually go to whiskey bars. We were lucky the other night there because yeah. these we were getting to try other stuff that you know we had never tried before. And, and this is and, and I think what I'm just gonna push the membership again as well what we're trying to do if anybody's got a bar, you know anybody with hospitality um, but we're trying to get discounts for our members uh, with food etc. Mm -hmm. We'll help them upsell their whiskies. A lot of bars don't sell links to Klein Leash, which is a, yeah, it's a, a really, great, it's beautiful, a basic entry biscuit, but fantastic when compared to the standard to just go for the, the, the supermarket, yeah, the, 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 the cash and carries and that sort of thing. So, we, we'll be helping these bars stock whiskies like this, mm -hmm. which are really great value for money, great expressions, but to say, and hopefully with our partners get, as well from yeah. the distillery so they can get discounted well, tours. Absolutely. And, absolutely. 
when we have got a couple of drops in there, you want a couple yeah, of drops? That's awful kind of you. Very uh, generous. We, we had a board meeting last weekend and they complained to me constantly Saturday and Sunday about no pouring his uh, water into him. So I'm exactly. To to exactly. Just, just One way traffic, team. Yeah. One way traffic. When I'm a world record holder, he's not getting it in it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm a world record holder. Oh, so anyway, put a wee touch of water in, back to your nose. And wow. Well, yeah, it, it really is. It's uh, still lovely, yeah. It's not as smoky. You know it's it, not. It, it sweetens it a bit. Mm. Yeah, honey's still there. Honey. A bit of vanilla coming through now. Yep, yep, yep. Sit by say. Mandarins. Mm. Yeah, yeah, still there. But it, it, it's, it's, it's a bit more bitter than yep. what it was with, with water. Uh, heather, uh, definitely heather. Gra it's a bit grassy coming through there now, I think. All right, grassy, grassy. <coughs> but the cinnamon's gone. There were these spices. There were some cinnamon spices before. That's mm -hmm. why. Really smooth. As I say, I, I don't know much it is a dram, to be honest with you. Well, I'm probably here at the Mercade, yeah. you'll probably find it's about the £3 yeah. a mark. It's not expensive. £3.50. Three, three it, it's, it's about a foot or a £35, £50 pound bottle of biscuit. Uh, so it's maybe undercharging you, you probably does not realise it. But no, it really is a, a, a fantastic expression. So have we tasted this again, Graham, in the water? Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm just watching what's going on here. It's a bit mm -hmm. droppy in a new day. Well, yeah. Orange, the, the smoke comes back in the palate actually more uh, than without the, the water. Really, really good. Still got that leathery, waxy um, palate coming there, but sweetening, sweetening as, as it, it finishes. It's a medium finish. A lot of sweet there. The mixed fruits coming in, mm -hmm. and the longer it sits in the palate, I, I can get more of the, the mandarin, the sweeter orange. Graham, than, yeah, than all, yeah, just to shout out there, a uh, would you call it? Uh, Mike, the architect, Mike Kelman got a distiller's dram today. Now, he was just asking what the distiller's dram was because the little bit wasn't put in the box. Oh, what right. was last week's distiller's it dram? Was, it was the. It the, was Balakin, wasn't Balakin, it? Balakin, yeah. that's what it was. Balakin. Cast strength, 10 year old, beautiful, wasn't it? Oh, so. I was enjoying it, Mike. Really, really, really toffee, if I remember. A bit smoky, uh, toffee, dark chocolate. If I remember right, it was the old Jamaica. Uh, it was it was great. It was a cracking drop. Yeah, I'm biased. I like it. Yes, yeah, he likes but it. Clean leash. Yep. Absolutely fantastic. Yep, yep. Again, damn cheaper than the, the Balakin. But um, well, it's, it's a, a, a good drop of whiskey. Great expression. Aye. And definitely, again, gets the seal approval. Oh, 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 oh. We've not had any raspberries. <laughs> I was just making well, sure it works. I say, there's no such thing as a bad whiskey. There's no many fail it, eh, to be honest with you. So remember, the director's rams we've got to try. Is Glen Turret mm -hmm. triple wood? I'm not quite sure what the wood's in that one. Three woods. I mean, three woods. If not a golf club. Golfer. I mean, a golfer. <laughs> Brian's a golfer. Oven for, well, no, I heard. <laughs> yeah, there was a waste of good work oh. for Brian. Uh, Oven 14 and the Glen Levitt 15. So one, two, and three in that order. Give us a wee vote, or I get to pick if I didn't get any votes for it. Uh, what I would like, I don't know. I, I think I've not tried the Glen Turret triple wood, so I would like that one. Uh, preferably, but uh, we'll go with your judgment. What year is Glen Turret, Mike? I hear you ask. Mike's asking what year Glen oh, Turret was. Oh, 1775. Come Strange on, one. Mike. Yeah, copying us. Aye, aye. How rude of them. <laughs> I don't mind. I didn't have a problem with them copying us. No, no, us, I don't either, as long as they supply us with the goods. Absolutely. Number three. Number three. Now, before we rush into number three, what's the fact of the day? Well, I've deliberately not done a fact of the day because I think the, the fact of the day is going to be we're going to go for world record holders. I think we should take that few seconds just to, to, to keep pushing that. Gather it's, our thoughts. It's, it's no us. It's going to be the world record holders. We're only facilitating the, the, the world record for most viewers yeah. in an online biscuit tasting. Everybody who tunes in is going to be the world yeah. record holder as well. Remember that. You're participating and I'm we'll paying for a world record. Yeah. So you'll get a certificate. If you join us as a member, we'll get badges and everything that done. So world record, 1775. No, we really want to drive that. I think it's going to be a fantastic it's achievement. Be, it's it's yeah. fun. And yeah, if, you're whisk, if you love your whiskey, why not? Well, this, the sad thing about it is that the world record for face-to-face -face whiskey is held by a Swedish company. Mm -hmm. you know, there, there's no Scots holding these records. So that's the sort of thing that we, as a country, should be claiming back. Watch yeah. this space. So we're wanting 3,000 folk to get your... Granny, your granddad, anybody you know, get them online watching. On this occasion, as long as they're watching, but of course, we've yeah. got the whiskies that you can get normally. Yeah. We've got some special we stuff. We want 5,000. We want 5,000. We'll settle for free. 
but we won 5,000 yeah, for five, fantastic. I'll Absolutely. Take a lot of beating on that one. Absolutely. Excellent. Right. Good. Number three. What did I do in the first place? <laughs> Was it that? Something like that. <laughs> oh, there it is. There, it must have been that. You look like uh, Reggie Perrin doing that. All right. Oh, well, that a... was before my blood. Oh, that <laughs> was it the fallen rise of Aye, Reggie Perrin? Perry. Did he not walk into the sea or something Aye, like that? His own death. Aye. So, number three is uh, from Aaron. It's Aaron Distillery. They have two distilleries in Aaron. Is it Lochranza and Lagan? All right. Uh, one, one does smoky expressions, other does standard expressions, I think. It's a privately owned company, just where shareholders, local shareholders. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know where they're all from, so it's privately owned from there. Aaron? Uh, I think one or two probably. I'm sure they will so. be. That's uh, good. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> when you actually read about whiskey and Aaron, uh, at the turn of the, 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 the 19th century, there was something like 58 distilleries on the wee island. Oh, was that right? Because yeah, folk you know, couldn't get the aye, a bit like yeah, Isla, yeah. Yeah, yeah, most of them probably be illicit stills over a couple of hundred years or whatever case may be. But at one time, 58 on Isla Aaron, uh, there was just one company now, as far as I know, uh, with two distilleries uh, doing the same, mm -hmm. different expressions from there. And of course, so when we go over to Isla, you can all experience the Isla experience. The Isla experience. I experience. Yeah, we've still got a couple of spaces on the original one left. Yeah. But we're going to hopefully book the flights this week. It won't debar anyone from coming to join us. Uh, the only thing we can't guarantee is the price of the flights. The flights may go up after that. But the hotel will be the same price, so you may have to pay 10, 20, 30 pounds more. I don't know. Mm. But uh, it, certainly anybody's welcome to join us, as long as there's seats in the plane. And we found out there's a second flight anyway, yeah. mid-late afternoon. But we want to get out there in the morning to have a couple of distillery visits arriving at 9 o'clock. So get on the hop yeah. at 10, 11 when the distillery is open, do a couple. But if there's no seats in that flight, you can book in the afternoon one and we'll make sure you get picked up and right. so, to the hotel. Now the only thing we need that. out of them is a deposit of how much? About £200. Pounds 200 pounds. Pounds. And that saves yes. any mucking about. That's yes. it done. I can see, I can hear the checkbooks coming out and the moths under the bed getting moved. Checkbooks? People still use checkbooks. Oh, aye, Brian, got, uh, Brian Johnston, aye, he's getting the moths out from that uh, wallet he's got. So. <laughs> well, Brian, <Right>. Right. <laughs> right, Aaron, I've never tasted any Aaron whiskies before, so this is mm. a first for me. And when I saw oh, it, yes. he, he, he always, you know, people always say never buy the bottle. I sometimes do. Aye. If I like the description of the bottle and such things like that, I like to try it. So no, no, no harm in having a wee you look at it, but I'm looking forward to this one. So it's Macri Moore. Interesting enough, when talking about Macri, I don't know if there's a Macri Moore in Aaron, I suppose there must be, but Macri is a golf club in Isla. Oh, right, that's right. Where, that's where we're going to be staying, the Macri uh, Golf Club. Oh. It's a famous one. It's on the bucket list for thousands of Americans, it's a golf and mm -hmm. country club, so that's where we're going to be staying. So we've got a wee look at the Aaron, really lovely and light, look at the colour of that, really. It's very, very, it's almost like a, a first fill. Um, oh, I hear a voice up here. Like a nice. first fill, a uh, we matured, yeah, yeah. but I'm not quite sure, it doesn't describe whether it is or not. I'm sure it's a cash strength as well, so just to forewarn you, it is, uh, it's 56.2%, so many of your, many your tender age, Brian Johnson, just be very careful. Very careful. We don't when you're running Spunting down the street, street naked. <laughs> so uh, we we look at it. as I say, it's really really light colour. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I like the colour of that. Nice. But I do prefer the, the darker sherry mature. Yeah, but yeah. I do like quite a pale so one. So do you think this is quite a young one, Neil? Is that what you're um, getting at there? Because no, it's no, it's not got an age statement on, is it? Got an age statement. They don't. They don't. Uh, don't have them. Has any age statement? They do have a ten year old. I feel like mm -hmm. should have a ten year old. Uh, no, no, he's seen as far as I know, but the legs in it, pretty quick, pretty mm -hmm. light. They're not, yeah, they're coming now, they're very quick, yeah, they're quicker than, than the other two. So it's a wee bit lighter, and again, that's your colour, remember, the light, delicate sort of mm -hmm. thing. Uh, the, the sherry mature takes it to the, the heavier legs and the, the, the oils, it's in the natural oils during the, the fermentation, yep, yep. Uh, and, and such, and from the, the pop stills. From there, so looks looks nice. Uh, then have a wee quick nose of it. Uh, it. It's not as smoky as I thought it would be. No, it's twenty ppm's. I would I guess twenty ppm's. Yeah, when they say much more, twenty right, five right. maximum. Yep. So who would that sit there? Right. The, the let's have a wee list. Oh, the tatty peel side. What is it? The, the Forbes rich list. Ah, uh, <laughs> uncle Forbes. So yeah, it, it's it's light. You can see clearly by the colour. It's very light. So it's only going to come across here, maybe not even a third of the way to the the, the rich side. But I would say you're maybe going 
not quite halfway, just a third of the way up into the smoky. Uh, I would say 20 to 25 ppm. It's mm-hmm. actually a, a pleasant smoke. It is, aye. It's, it's, it's a bit like the um, the Koboken. Remember the ghost? Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. the one we like yeah, the 2006. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you, you get about the peat. The fennels are, are really, really pleasant, but you get a sweetness coming through it as well. Citrus, lemon, lemon zest coming through that. Salty. Mm-hmm. You would expect that from any island sort of whiskey. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. There. Not a lot going on in it, and, and fruit wise. A bit vanilla. Yeah, yeah. Quite citrusy, but no citrus, and a wee bit of lime coming through now. You get a mm-hmm. bit more sweetness. Lime peel. Just, yeah, lime peel. I don't know, I had lime peel. Mm. Uh, I've had lemon zest, lemon peel. Tatty peel. Tatty peel. <laughs> but yeah, quite fruity. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. nice. We got a wee taste of it. <laughs> heavy, on, heavy on the panels, yeah. Oh, but red berries, apple coming through a bit. It's like red apples, there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Great. It's, it's a sweet oh. apple. No, really caramelly, waxy. And as it's it, it's sitting and finishing on the palate. Mm-hmm. Lemon sherbet. I'm really getting a lot of lemon coming through there. I like a sherbet, not the zest, but the sherbet because you've got that dryness of a sherbet. That's actually very pleasant. It That's is. Amazing. I am. I'm enjoying That's that. Good. I'm looking yeah. forward to getting a bit of water in yeah. it. Okay. Well, kind of caught me in the the hop when I first took the wee. It, it certainly Jeez. did. It was from the nose. Ah, it was. Uh, you just thought it was actually very little in, in the phenols and in, in the, the smoke, but on the, the first taste in the palate. Quite intense. Oh, it softened the way. That's uh, definitely definitely right up my boat. Back on the the nose, yeah, very lemon, citrus, lemon zest. A wee bit vanilla coming through there now. Yeah, a bit salt. You've got a lot of salt. Salt. But again, the the, the feel of the peat just Mm -hmm. dies off. It's actually pretty. I I say it's pleasant. I I I do like that. I enjoy that. Like it's like salt and pepper push it real good. (laughs) On the the back, yeah, red apples definitely. Berries, it's like red. What's it? What's the red berry? No, the wee, not not, not cherries, cran, not cranberries, not cherries. Is it red berries? Just call them the wee tiny ones. The quaker. Remind, remind me of that. Bit caramelly, smoky, waxy. But I like that. Mm-hmm. I, I do. I'm enjoying that. I, 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 <laughs> I'm just in the back of the bottle. He says, oh, "I think it's about twenty ppm." It's on the bottle. He saw it. <laughs> <laughs> And here's you say it's more than that's even worse. I say it's 20 see, to 25. Uh, I said 20. I I'm comparison I thought, with I thought we were teaching them really well then. He's doing brilliantly. I am doing brilliant. He's doing brilliant. I kind of get the comments up, by the way, guys. I think Greg okay. has broken it. Right. No, absolutely great. I, I think that's a, a fantastic expression as well, Aaron. And I'll certainly be looking forward to trying more Aaron expressions uh, from there. That was okay. Yeah, let me get Nanu Nanu man on to pulling so that. That definitely that's, gets a seal of approval. Ar, 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 ar. I've got to say, that's an absolutely spectacular whiskey. Yeah, again, honestly, let's be fa- honest about it. If you were in your house and you were going to go and buy a whiskey, would you actually go to the shop and buy that? Out everybody that's watching, potentially, maybe one of you might if there's a oh, group, but you, you probably wouldn't. And look at what you've tried tonight <laughs> yeah. more whiskeys, enjoyable, a good gentleman's measure, as one of my old customers used to say but i know the boys all share it uh, and that's what it's about that's what we're here for having fun enjoying the whiskeys yeah and it, it's, it's good to see it. it's the sort of whiskey not you'll see in supermarkets but if you walk into a whiskey shop you look at that you think never heard of that and you're going to the, the old trusted friendly mm-hmm. whiskies you yep, yep. your your balvenies and that sort of thing your eyelids you know for a peter whiskey you would go to Isla before you consider Aaron. but the uh, Aaron peter ones absolutely no yeah, issues yeah. with that i think that's a fantastic Michael yeah. Kelman's yeah. loving that. Kevin yeah. Cockburn, uh, he said hello. Like Scott Kevin Watson, Lewis. Smokey Pear Drops on the Hooter, he says. Uh, that's good. So, anyway, GZ, Nanu Nanu, did we have a uh, one, two, three of the. Glenn oh, for the sample thing. Glenn okay, so we've got the Glenn 23, 23 pound of glass. That's it. Do you feel we'll happy with that one? <laughs> No wonder I'm on the poor list, you guys. The sooner you come in and start buying some of my whiskey, I noticed uh, somebody had been in the other day there and opened up a bottom of the McAllen Estate. 
Yeah. Yes, yeah, so two that, nips right? were out of it. The nips were only £17.50, but I can assure you that's chicken feed compared to places that you would get. And uh, uptown. Now, have we done the numbers for that stuff yet, or do we do this first? We'll, just, we'll do this first. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pushing on. Pushing on thing. So we're going to get to bed. <laughs> going to get his wee nightcap on. Have a, really a, a wee look at this. I, I think it's, oh. it's French oak. Me so, oui, me oui. So it probably be... You better keep him away from us uh, on that yeah, fourth. Yeah. Embarry, embarrass us. John Luke embarrass us in Perth, out in the break. Yeah. Even Gregor's got embarrassed there. Aye, aye. Yeah, with you. But uh, we've got a wee look at this. Yeah, it looks double mature. The colour's a bit rich. Um, yeah, I, I think it is. If I remember correctly, it's French. French oak. So I don't know if it's a wine or a brandy cask. I would expect it to be wine. I would expect a wine if yeah. it's a French. Oh, I think it's a drop because we look at the legs. Legs are pretty quick coming down here. You see the legs, Graham? You enjoy yeah, the legs? Uh, yeah. Nice, yeah, beautiful really legs. Absolutely. It's obviously the French oak and the American oak gives different characteristics, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Is it the American that gives it a bit more long finish? Or short, is it short, way? short finish. Yeah, short, so it's the other way. It's a right light coloured sort of dry wood. Well, it's got what's not probably a bit no yeah, yeah. me, but in my opinion, it's a, it's a drier. Harder wood, aye, which gives you that dry vanilla take, finish. Aye, it takes longer for it to grow in France, isn't it? Yeah. Quicker than in the States, I, I think. I, I think if it's uh, an American oak, 15 years and it becomes too dry for me. Right, right, right. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, on the flavour map, we'll have a quick nose of it. No smoke, oh, that's a lovely nose. <laughs> Another one. Oh, right, I'm getting all the comments coming in. Okay, light, that peel rich, that peel smoky rich. and delicate. That's quite interesting, this one, because the colour actually takes it towards the rich side but the nose the legs cuts it back to me so i would i would be sitting almost halfway line mm -hmm. uh, if anything just under the halfway line into this quarter here just touching into here not a million miles away from Balvenie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which again, is, I don't know the price of the Glen Levitt 15. But it's 400 pound a bottle. It, <laughs> but you get a deal at that. Actually, yeah, um, the, the Balvenie is a 12 year old, this is a 15 year old uh, and, and I think they're quite comparable. Well, let's have a, a wee nose of it. Yeah, it's lovely on the nose. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. It's vanilla. Good. Aye, I definitely get a lot of vanilla there. Yeah. It's lovely, actually. I've, had, fact, that in the, I've had that in the collection. Oh, We've been put for it for a while. Just not something. I did have that Glen Levitt 13 year old, and I've got a Glen Levitt 14. And the Glen Levitt 13 was for the Taiwan market, okay. Asia. And I managed to pick it up at the. Um, I picked up a distillery and it cost me about £60 a bottle when I was up at the Rotary Club. Point being, I got two bottles of the 14 year old and only one bottle of that. When I came back and looked it up, the 14 year old was an American special one. It was cheap as chips to, to buy. And the other one that only bought one was £200 a bottle and I'd paid 60 quid for it. Dikes! But I did <laughs> give a bottle to Brian Johnston. That's how good I am. Anyway. Oh, sip this lemon zest, vanilla. A wee drop of caramel coming through. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's quite chocolatey. There's a wee bit of chocolate coming through that, Graham. Cadbury's chocolate. Cadbury's chocolate. Yeah, I would, I would say a wee bit of raisins. A slight dry fruit in there. Oh, fruit and nut. I'm a fruit and nut case. That's not a bad one. It's, it's, quite it's lovely. It's nice. It's not outstanding nose for a 15-year-old, but yeah. It's, well, it was better it's, than, oh, I think it was better than that 15-year-old we had. Was it last week? Brian Cadam. I Adam, didn't yeah, enjoy yeah, that. Yeah. But, aye, because we had the other 15-year-old, didn't we? The uh, Glenn Farquhar's. I'm the liking Glen Farkas, oh, lovely, lovely in the palate, yeah. Oh, the, that's... The, the nose is a bit, I don't know, it, it lacks on the nose, but in the palate, fantastic caramel, um, like peachy coming through. Mm -hmm. It's almost really sweet peaches, mm -hmm. red berries, strawberries, raspberries even. Any apples? Okay, there's a bit of a wee drop. Green apples! Red apples, it's sweet, oh. too sweet there, too sweet for me. But caramel... You know, there's a bit of saltiness in that mm -hmm, as well. I think mm -hmm. a wee bit of salt. And uh, Glenlivet, there shouldn't be salt. But yeah, I'm getting a wee bit of salt. There. Really nice. Yeah, really, yep. really a lot going on in the in the palate. Can you touch your water. Oh, thank you, thank you. Back to the nose. <laughs> Again, I, I find the nose quite incredibly flat. There's a wee bit of citrus there. Yep. We're just on about the debating of the one, two, three for the key stuff. Michael, I'm agreeing with you. I actually I, like... I forgive you, my. I know, I but that. I'm agreeing with you, Mike. Right. But anyway, uh, we've not got there yet. I'll give, I'll give my verdict first and see how much. I know when I'm going off in the huff. 
and then we'll only have 3,002 people watching. <laughs> Fair enough, sir. <laughs> and the nose, yeah. Uh, strawberries, red fruits, red berries, definitely. Red apples. We hint of salt still there. Yeah, I get this. I, I think there's more on the nose now. Vanilla. We drop honey. Honey. So, uh, 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 yeah, absolutely. Quite nice. It's really better with water on the nose. Uh, I think there's more. It's, it's opened it quite a bit. Talking about better on the nose, just a quickie before you. I had a gentleman from south of the border up visiting us the other day there here in the market. And uh, I says he didn't want a dessert. I'm like, do you want something like a whiskey or that? Oh, no. I'll have a brandy, he says. I says, all right, I'll tell you what, I'll bring you a brandy and I'll bring you a whiskey. And I done the, our, Aber, what, the Aberlour, the 12 year old. Double yeah, double yeah. Double. So I brought him one of them, brought him that, and I put them together. And of course, guess what he liked? Aberlour. I was going to say the brandy there for fun, <laughs> but no, it was Aberlour. And he totally was blown away with it. And you could just tell by his whole expression, thoroughly enjoyed it. And now he's away off. Another, another good one to, to convert them is that Dal Ewan, the Diazra's Flora and Fauna. Yeah, yeah. It's 16 I, years sharing. We'll get that one yeah, day yeah. on Winsbank Bank and Jones because it's a bit expensive, uh, but we'll get it. I got a discount up there sometimes. So. If he's uh, good, he gets a cup of tea probably, for a pound. A tea, uh, so, no, if, yeah, on, on, I forgot where I was now. Yeah, <laughs> white Craig, the, white Craig. White Craig guy, centre of the universe. Yep. Caramel, vanilla, some honey. Sweet honey. Um, <laughs> Red berries, strawberries coming through there, red apples. Yeah, far, far. That is far superior nice. uh, with water. Yeah, yeah. Far, far superior. On oh, the finish, it's a bit short, the finish for me. Uh, it, it's it's short to medium, I would say. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, there's still a lot going on. Uh, oh, as we were talking there, the sweetness is really good. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, it's, a, it's a good director's farm uh, for next week, if you want that. Yep, yeah. Love it. 15 year old. So dial it and get your orders put in. I know there was problem. Gregor's fixing that. We're also going to start to line up the packaging for the whiskey for the world record attempt. So we've got that. Yeah, we'll get that out. We'll have next week's promotional video. Then we'll get that out so we're, next week. So we're giving ourselves a good run in to yeah. get it because we're expecting a good run in the yeah, packs. We're hoping to make it cheaper than the twenty-five. Yes, dollar. absolutely. We're not necessarily going for the fifty-pound bottles of whiskey. We're going to try yeah. and reduce it. We're going to whiskeys. You guys all over the world who are, who are watching us. Can actually go to a supermarket in Germany, Spain, Australia, America, and yeah, buy it but, and yeah. actually enjoy the jam with us. Ideally, we like to have had the largest whiskey tasting. tasting in the world, but we have to prove that everybody who's viewing us tastes whiskey for that. So yes. the wording is different, definition is different, but it's basically the same as far as we're concerned. So, so absolutely fantastic. Four great drinks. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, Graham, as what much was as I push the Klein leash, I'm going three, one, two. Oh, three, one, two. Aaron they just picked it, and it's not very often I do the smoky as my top one. Aye, I like, I like that. There's them. nothing, to be honest, nothing between the Glenfiddich and, and the, the, the uh, Mark and Moore. Both fantastic whiskies, as is the Klein Leash, but they, mm -hmm. they just, they had something special in them. So mm -hmm. three, one, two. Well done. Thanks, Neil. Now, folks, it's over to you as well for us doing this world of record attempt. We're going to really need you to dial in and uh, get yourselves registered on Monday. We'll have the specific website so we can keep you updated with all the information. We need you to like, share, love us. Any posts we're putting out. Love us. Love us. Who's well, love they might love me, but no you anyway. That's, un uh, that's understandable. Well, could love you. Love yeah. <laughs> Yes, so uh, I so we need the three thousand. We're going for five thousand. We need your support. And as Neil says, it's down to you guys. It's for all of us collectively. Uh, great fun bringing it back, the Golden Gong to Scotland, and we'll have some fun whilst we're doing it. Why not? Absolutely. So that's it. Okay, Daddy Peel. What are we going to say apart from thank you, Slange. Wow.